हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई टोल्ड अबाउट माई फ्रंट एंड वेब डेवलपमेंट सीरीज एंड ऑल्सो आई टोल्ड अबाउट एस डबल फाइव सी एस ए जे एस ओवर व्यू देन जे क्वे रिपोर्ट स्ट्रैप एस वी जी बट इन दिस वीडियो सेक्शन टू फायरफॉक्स डेवलपर एडिसन सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल द फायरफॉक्स डेवलपर एडिसन आफ्टर दैट आई विल गिव यू ओवर व्यू आफ्टर दैट we going to talk about features of that software after that i will tell you all the developer tools of this software and in the last of this section we are talking about the summary of this whole section firefox developer edition so let me say one thing before we can do this the reason why we are going to use firefox developer edition is that it is an open source web browser that is built for web developers so it is a crucial tool in your toolbox to be using firefox because it is open up your opportunity to web development especially for web developers so let's start open your favorite web browser i'm going to open safari so after opening safari just search for google.com and after opening google you have to type firefox developer edition and after type just hit enter and here you can see there are a lot of website but you have to choose the first one here the website is mozilla.org just click on it and after clicking here you can see the website is open and there is a big blue button with firefox developer edition you have to click on it after clicking it's asking for permission to download this software just click on allow and here you can see the downloading process is started so before it complete let's talk a little bit about this browser a firefox developer edition so you can see here it is a firefox browser and after that welcome to your new browser get the latest features fast performance and the development tool you need to build your open web after that here you can see and here you can see in this image there are a lot of features as seen in this image so the downloading of this software is completed just double click on it and after clicking here is an pop up shown that uh, firefox developer browser in windows you have to double click on the setup.exe but in mac just drag and drop the setup into the application folder here just drag and drop so you have installed the software firefox developer edition so as i told you this is a crucial tool in your tool list this is the beginning of the web developer journey so few more seconds we are ready to roll and just open the software just press command space and just type firefox developer edition and just hit enter it's asking for permission to open the software just click on open and after click on open here you can see your browser is ready for use there are two ways to open this software you just press command plus space and just type firefox developer edition firefox developer edition and just hit enter and the second method is you manually go for launcher and here you can find firefox developer edition now this software will open up and there we go your software is ready to use now one thing you have to do to close safari and just open the simple this software i'm going to close this and also i'm going to close safari now we're going to discuss some features of the firefox developer edition and so right here you can have the browser made for developers welcome to the browser developer edition and here you can see firefox has rebuilt from the ground up to be faster slicker and more powerful than ever after that you have see uh, firefox developer tools to learn more and master css grade you have to click on learn more and next generation css engine if you want to get updates regarding your browser you can sign up here but i am not currently do this and after that you have see new tools in active css firefox dev tools now gray out css declaration that don't have effect on page when you hover over the icon info you will see the useful message about why the css is not being applied including a hint about how to fix the problem and after that there is another new tool 
Firefox Dev Tools. The browser Firefox Dev Tools are powerful, flexible, and best of all, hackable. This includes a best in class JavaScript debugger, which can target multiple browsers and is built in React and Redux. Guys, here you can see there is a built in React and Redux. After that, we are going for innovative features like Master CSS Grid. Firefox is the only browser with tools built especially for building and designing with CSS Grid. These tools allow you to visualize the grid, display associated area names, preview transformations on the grid and much more guys. After that we are going for faster information, font panels. The new font panels in Firefox Dev Tools give developer quick access to all the information they needed about the font being used in the element. It also includes valuable information such as font source, weight, style and much more. And after that, the browser made for developers, here you can see all the latest developer tools in beta plus experimental features like the multi-line console editor and web socket inspector and a separate profile path so you can easily run in alongside release a beta Firefox preferences tailored for web developers, browser and remote debugging are enabled by default as the dark theme and developer toolbar button. After that you can see here design, code, test, refine, build and perfect your sites with Firefox Dev Tools. Here you can see inspector, console, debugger and after that network, storage panel, responsive design mode, visual editing, performance, memory and the last one is style editor. Don't worry guys we will discuss all this topic in my current video. So don't worry about it, we will discuss every tool, every single tool about this. So these are the some key features offered by this browser. These are some key features which are offered by this software. Now after that as example I have opened, I am going to open a new website called google.com and after website is open, now you have to come on discuss on developer tools. So after opening website just right click on empty space and click on inspect and here you can see there are a lot of features available. I am just full screen this software and resize it as visible to you. Now you can notice there are all these tools some of I talked previously when I talk about the features of this software like uh, inspector, console, debugger, network. So let me discuss some of the features of this software. So let's discuss it. First of all there is an element selection tool here the corner one just click on it and now you can go anywhere and select any part in website to show details like uh, and go for search google search and here you can see input gno89b and 127.367 into 36 the size of this element now you can edit your code here and css here like uh, you can edit your code here in this area and if you want to edit css then you can type here all the css to edit your website and you can work around it and build your website here. The second option is inspector. After selecting it, now you can go anywhere on the website and you can inspect their code. Like uh, I am going on Google, GWGLE. Okay. And after that, uh, we have another option called console. Click on it. And console is designed for JavaScript. Now we can go any part of the website where JavaScript is used by using this. And I will tell you further about JavaScript and I will also teach you JavaScript from beginner to an advanced level in my next videos. After that there is another option called debugger. Click on it. The debugger option allow you to debug the code of the website inside your browser. You can also do this by using your text editor or also by using your inspector element. So after this there is an another option which is called network. Just click on it. Network is used in backend situations, we will further discuss it. Now after this, click on style editor. And in style editor, the cool thing about this, just click on plus icon. Here you can see the plus icon, just click on it. And here you can type your code to design your website. Through this, it's look prettier, just right here. Body and the curly braces after background background and pink and colon and you can see the background color of this website turned into pink and it's look so pretty and cool and also this browser 
gives me ability to save this file in my computer and you can add this file to your project and save it for future just uh, hit command plus s and you can give the name just i have type google and pink and you can choose the folder where you can download this file so i just default download and here you can see the format web page complete and you can hit save button to save this file but i am not going to save this i am just doing it to show you i am to cancel it so you can see how cool that tool is or you can write some css in the browser save it and you can save changes to it and after that there is an option for performance click on it performance again this is for backend like network this is for boost the performance of the website so this is a backend thing after that we are going for memory memory is same thing like i previously told it is a backend thing after that we are going for storage it is also a backend thing after that we go for uh, accessibility accessibility is same thing after that we are going for application application again same and this is for backend now let's discuss some response name of this browser you have to click on this little icon here it's look like a smartphone or a tablet just click on it and after clicking it will turn the website into responsive mode and here you can see the responsive just click on it and here you can see a lot of template to show this website and if you want to edit this website just click on edit list here you can add more template to show this website is uh, compatible or not i'm just choosing a laptop with touch just check it and close now again go for responsive and choose laptop with touch hit enter and here you can see this option will turn into a responsive for touch with laptop and that's all about to show here now here you can see what my website look like and the resolution is 1280 into 950 so let me tell you about the 1280 into 950 This is the resolution of my website, which you can see in front of you, like uh, Google.com, and it may be any other website with any other resolutions. So the resolution of this for website is 1280 into 950. Why this resolution is so important? So let's discuss about it. Resolution is so important is in terms of web development. As an example, you can see my video, which looks in full screen. There is no space between your device edges or my video. you have multiple devices you have a smartphone or you have a tablet or a laptop or a desktop they all are different solutions but the question is how you can work with all those the most important thing this is css don't worry i will teach you a complete css from beginning to an advanced level and the important thing in css is a media query this website turn into 1280 into 950 resolution just uh, because of media query present in css so again you can click here and now you can see a lot of options like ipad iphone 11 or iphone 12 13 and kindle fire galaxy note galaxy s10 and a lot of these are all options due to media query features in css we can write different media queries for these different resolutions but this resolution 1280 to 950 will cover all the resolutions in a tablet or a laptop or a desktop we will cover all these topics in my further video i'm just open a new website google.com as an example so after opening website you have to click the gear icon present here the middle one if you hover over open web developer tools just click on it and after clicking there is a tools for web developer tools task manager remote debugging browser console responsive design mode eyedropper page source and much more if you choose first one web developer tools so here you can see we already covered these old tools present here from inspector console to an application after that we cover responsiveness of this website now you have to again click on that gear icon and the second one is task manager if you select this these are old tabs present on your browser The first one is web developer edition second is firefox privacy notice here you can see present after the google google and the task manager here you can see energy impact and memory covered by this website and again click on the gear icon now these are all other developer tools which are available in this browser after that there is an option for browser console we already talk about this after that responsive design mode 
After that, there is an option for eyedropper. Now click on it to choose. Eyedropper gives you ability to go to any section in the website on a desktop to show the properties that icon like I'm going for Google. Now drop the eyedropper to any section. It will show all the text code or the RGB code of that section. Now I'm going to copy the color code like has FFF. FFF click on it and now I can use this clear anywhere on this website I chose RGB code from here that is has FFF FFF now I can use this code in anywhere in my website on this browser so after doing this again you have to click on this gear icon and after the eyedropper there is another option called page source click on it it will show all the source code of that website and here you can see the javascript of this website present here like we are here you can copy and paste any source code from here here you can see all the javascript of that website but it look very hard to see but don't worry you can do this work on any other website and so the source code of that website in just simply two step like uh, open the website go for this gear icon and click on page source and the source code, the complete source code of that website is in front of you guys from starting to end and just scroll here to see the all code uh, just here. Now let me discuss some other tools for this web browser and just closing this. Again you have to click on this gear icon and there is the last four extension for developers. Click on it and here you can see it will redirect to another website. You can grab more tools for your journey. These are all tools which are currently not present in your browser like a feature query manager, web hint and there are a lot of tools. Spectre.js, there are tools for media panels. You can use all these by using your Firefox add-on section. But later on this course, if we need any tools, we can go there, that website and install and use it. So guys, as I told you, Firefox Developer Edition is a key tool for web developers because it is a modern web browser with more and more tools and with new technologies like edit CSS on browser and a stable HTML5 and canvas and SVG and all other technologies inside your browser just like Inspector. There is a good thing that uh, all these tools you can use through your web browser and it is a good thing for a new web developer. Now that's all about the Firefox Developer Editions. Yeah, that's all about this. Now it's time to come to the summary section. In this section, we go through the lessons we have learned about the Firefox Developer Edition. First of all, we have learned about the overview of the Firefox Developer Edition. After that, we are going for how to download the software. After that, how to set up the software. After that, I will, I told you all the features of that software. After that, uh, I will give you some example of how you can use this software is based on your work and you can do this all completely things on your web browser and also save it for future like uh, right click and just click on inspect you can save files from the browser and use it in your favorite project in future i already told you what are the key features of that browser and after that we go for developer tools i also told you how you can use these tools in your browser like selector inspector console and the network i am also talk about the response name of the website for the web browser here you can see the smartphone tablet icon after that i also told you about uh, eyedropper and also page source and you can also get more extensions for the web developers which are not currently present in your browser you can go here and grab all the tools now that's all about your web browser firefox developer edition now i will see you in my next video in the series thanks for watching and take care and hit the like button Bye-bye.